Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a different video for you. I'm going to unbox my new iPhone. <laughs> I have it right here in my hot little hands. So this looks like Telstra packaging. Um, yeah. Currently I have my old iPhone, which is an iPhone 6. S. I'm pretty sure it's a 6S. I've had it for so many years. I've wanted to upgrade, but I'm just like, oh, I'll, there's nothing wrong with this one. So I'll just wait for the new one. So I have got the 8 Plus. This is my first time using a Plus phone. And I wasn't sure whether to upgrade because I like the size of this one, but everyone that I've asked has recommended to upgrade. So I did. So I did get the 256 gigabytes in the gold. I don't feel like I need 256 gigabytes. I think that this one, I think that this one's only like a 128. With this one, I didn't actually have a choice in the color because it's all that they had in that size. The packaging is gorgeous in the, in the box. It has rose gold, Apple and iPhone on it. And it kind of looks rose gold more so than gold. So I'm interested to open it up and see what color it really is. Oh, so you just, oh, that's fancy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so designed by Apple in California. Okay, so I'm just taking it out. It's so big. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm just going to hold it up <laughs> compared to my itty bitty phone. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, so I've got to say it looks like the edge around the around the phone is the different color and I would say that that's more of a rose gold, more of a copper kind of color than a gold. So the back is meant to be glass, um, so it doesn't have the same kind of metallicness that this and the previous phones have had, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to take this off. Oh, what's the front one too? I should just leave that one on there because I don't have a protective sticker yet. <laughs> one time when I got a new iPhone, I forgot and left the protective sticker on there. And then I put another protective sticker on the top and I didn't realize until I went to take it off that I'd left the first one on there because I took it off and I'm like, oh my God, the screen's ruined. One of the things that is the main difference between obviously my super old phone is the fact that there's no headphone jack. The headphone jack is through the charging point. So in the box, I have a charger and oh yeah, I was going to say that it's matte, but it's just a sticker on it. So the little PowerPoint adapter, and then we have some headphones. On the back, there is a headphone jack adapter thingy, which is good. And then underneath where the headphones are, the charger cord is. I know there's probably like actual names for these things. I'm just trying to have a look and see if it comes with a little pin to eject the um, the card. Um, I wonder if it will turn on. I may, oh, it did turn on. It's turning on. <laughs> I think this pin might be a little bit too small. Oh, hmm. Okay, spell pin. Nope. Thank you, <laughs> YouTube. I found my little pin. So if you cannot find it, <laughs> it's in this little information pack. And it's on this. There we go. Just popped it open. How are SIM cards just getting smaller and smaller? Just gonna pop my SIM in. Hello. No, oh, I need to put in my Wi-Fi password. Be right back. So my Wi-Fi is in. I'm just setting it up. It says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. I synced my phone the other day, so I'll probably have to sync it again because I've got some more photos, and I don't know what else is on it. <laughs> feels so weird, like it's it's huge. Well, this is taking a long time to set this up. Okay, so it's finally activated and it's come up, come up with the touch ID. So I'm going to set that up, hopefully it works. Oh, the passcode needs to be six digits. Didn't know that. Um, so I can't use my usual one. That's going to be so annoying. I need a restore from iTunes backup. So I'm going to go and do that and come back. Okay. I'm not even kidding. It's literally like three hours later, maybe two hours later. I had a lot of trouble syncing this um, and restoring the backup of my phone. This being my phone. I eventually got there. I had to call Apple support. <laughs> Just one tip. Make sure that you have updated your old phone to the latest iOS and you've updated your iTunes and 
then you back up because I've updated my iTunes, I've backed up, but I updated my iOS last before I backed up. So that was my issue. Anyway, I now have access to my phone. I've just been playing around. Um, it's taking a while to update all the apps and everything like that is, is actually taking quite a long time. So I've just gone around and taken some photos, like, you know. Um, one thing that was interesting to me is that, like, the, the photos, when I went to just take them, they weren't very light. Um, I'll put an example between uh, my iPhone, this is a six, by the way, uh, and the eight side by side. You can see, obviously, the quality difference, but you can see that the old six is lighter and I don't know how to make that better on this phone. So I've gone into the settings and I've had a look and um, tried to play around and I turned off, what was it called? True Tone, but that didn't seem to make a difference. So what I'm also going to do is I took one picture however many different ways with the different settings. So I'm going to insert them so you can see the difference in the filters that the phone has. So there are two cameras on the back of the phone uh, for portrait mode and then, you know, standard mode. Mostly I was so excited about having a new camera because obviously the change in between the, a six and an eight is magnificent and it takes better quality pictures. Like if I go out somewhere, I never take photos on my phone because I'm just like, the quality is shit. It'll be nice to be able to go out and take photos of me and my friends or, or whatever, not be ashamed of my camera quality. <laughs> seems so silly but it like it was I literally haven't taken photos like on this phone I take photos and then on my cameras and then Wi-Fi them over to this phone I think I will enjoy having a bigger screen to edit photos and look at websites on I think that that's a really big thing I feel like I need one of those pop socket things because I do have Quite a small hand, as you can see, it's like the same size. It's a bit shorter than the phone itself for it because um, I'm probably going to drop it or something. I do want to say, like, I thought that the selfie camera would have been a bit better. Um, I'm going to try it in this light. Like, I mean, I guess that's okay, but I just kind of thought it would be a little bit better. I don't know. I'm just a little bit underwhelmed with the camera quality and and everything, like it's not taking amazing pictures like I kind of thought it would. I just feel like the selfies, like the lighting is so much better on this phone. I do like the portrait mode. I've experimented and taken a few pictures with that. So I'll insert those here. Obviously I didn't previously have the portrait mode, so that's a really nice tool to have. I feel like the vivid setting on the camera, it, I don't like it. I'm going to put that out there. I'm going to insert a, a photo with and without vivid to show you the difference. And I just, I'm just not a fan. It's just, it's too, like I just thought it would lighten things up and make things a bit more defined where it just like amps up the saturation and not too much of a fan of that, so. I don't know, like I feel a little bit underwhelmed with the phone now that I have it. I'm assuming my opinion will change after I've used it for a little bit, but I do really love the look of it. I think it looks really nice and sleek. I don't know, as I said, like I'll show you the side. See, it more so looks like coppery rose gold on the side, doesn't it? And then the back, like, yeah, you can tell like it's gold, but I don't know. It's kind of like a nudie color. 
Well, um, I've never made one of these videos before, so I hope that that was enjoyable. I don't really know what else to say about it. I've unboxed it. So that is it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you next time. Bye.